haunted attractions that would even impress the major theme parks in town. And here's the thing, the professor says, that's exactly the point. Mm -hmm. yeah. The textbook is a lesson on creating a creepy hand. The assignment? Make a stick and pale zombie. The pop quiz? Add frightening detail to this skull. Welcome to college, Valencia College, East Campus in Orlando. The class? Technical Theater Production, where this semester the only coursework is to create the Florida Museum of Cursed Artifacts from scratch. What would take industry experts six months to construct is getting done in just a month and a half with 68 kids. When complete, the museum will be a scary walk through Halloween attraction inside Valencia's Black Box Theater, open to the public, free of charge. Teaching the class is theme park veteran Fred Lynn. I love working with the kids. I love that interaction. And I love seeing their minds open up and their eyes smiling. When you tell them something or explain something to them, oh wow, and then they realize they can do it. That's magic to me. Professor Lynn instructs these students how to make attractions that can last at least five years and be expandable for new technology. That's theme park level stuff. He teaches them how to read scripts and take cues from art directors. And he lectures on etiquette from his decades of experience around the world. A lot of students don't know that just the way that you conduct yourself on a site means that you'll get the next call. Prior to this haunted attraction was last semester's summer project, an original escape room. That idea and this haunted house came from the mind of Kristen Abel, program chair for the school's live entertainment design and production department. Escape rooms are so popular right now, and there is such a, uh, a desire to not just sit and watch, but to be part of the action. Theme parks know this, which is why they have teams working year-round to make their Halloween events over the top. The haunted attraction uh, industry is a $682 million a year industry in the United States alone. That's work. And it's welcomed work for these very engaged college students. Oh, 100%. Fred really encourages us to put together a great portfolio so that we are set not they to come free. from being able to show off our work as we move on to the next project, but also being able to go out into the workforce and show off what we've done here to really put us ahead of the other people as we graduate. The most rewarding part, in my opinion, is um, is just the build itself. You know, working with my hands is something I've always enjoyed. Um, you know, being able to you know physically do something and see your progress at the end of the day. A progression of fright with a scary deadline of October 27th. And in the end, classes like these can yield the jobs with scary good money too. This industry will employ somebody that has these kind of skill sets at around 54 uh, to 55,000 a year. If you become um, a very skilled person and able to manage people, you're in the 70s, very fast. And uh, if you can manage an entire project like this, you're in six figures. All while having a ton of fun on the job. In Orlando, David Martin, Fox 35 News. Oh, I love that. You know what? Speaking of fun, I don't know. It would be fun for me because I don't like anything scary. But you yes. went to Halloween <laughs> Horror Night. Okay, so how I was it?